My name is Gianna Bonis Perfumo, and I'll present this study co authored with Domingos de Rosario Pereira from Centro Feto Haburas Desenvolvimento in Timor Leste, Julie Brimblecrum from Monash University, and Natasha Stacey as myself from the Research Institute for the Environment and Livelihoods. So, among smallholders, gender relations shape how agricultural products are produced and how foods are acquired and consumed, which impact on food security and nutrition. In Timor Leste, most rural households own multiple livestock species, yet animal source food consumption is low and malnutrition high. This study aims to explore how gender relations inform livestock production and the animal source food acquisition and consumption in four Timorese villages in Baukau in Bikeke districts. Our methods examine women's empowerment within the relational sphere of gender relations, shown in figure one, and applied a qualitative dominant mixed methods design. So quantitative data included selected responses from the abbreviated Women's Empowerment in Agriculture Index and 24-hour animal source food records. And our qualitative data were 33 semi-structured interviews, mostly with women and their husbands, analyzed through the gender relations framework. So what did we find? Well, in the survey responses, most women and men reported joint livestock ownership and decisions on livestock production, their sale and income use, as illustrated in figure two. However, interviews revealed that for many women, joint decision-making meant requiring their husband's consent, without which they would not proceed with selling livestock or purchasing, or purchasing animal source foods. So the quote highlights this point. As a woman in Baukau explained, we need to ask men because they work and look for money. If he agrees, I buy animal sales foods. If he does not agree, I cannot buy them. So we found that women's unequal bargaining position was influenced by social norms on the gender division of labor and by men's role and framing as income generators. Also, animal source foods were considered not essential and unaffordable in a setting where rice security was a priority concern. So we conclude that examining women's empowerment within the gender relations sphere is important to assess food security and nutrition among rural smallholders. We demonstrated the value of mixed methods to contextualize and deepen understandings of empowerment, such as intra-household decision-making, and revealed local interpretations of joint decisions, often indicated women's unequal bargaining position. We advocate for nutrition-sensitive policies and programs in Timor Leste to focus on women's empowerment and to integrate a gender relations lens in their design, like by including men as important actors in financial decisions that might affect dietary composition. If interested in further details, this paper is currently under review in the Journal of Rural Studies. Thank you. <laughs>